What's going on guys, it's Elam here with another video. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about um, gear relations. So I'm going to be mainly using this type of gear relations. So just regular gears, uh, working with gear ratios. So here's um, an assembly of gears that I worked on that um, focuses on the five, the one to five gear ratio. So for every one revolution of this big gear, uh, here is going to make five revolutions of this little gear. I'll demonstrate for you right now. I'm going to turn this. It's a little laggy, but let's see if I can get it working. There you go. I'm moving this one really slowly, but this one is moving five times faster, and it's moving this gear, which is moving this one five times faster, which is moving this one five times faster. So uh, in total, this is a one to 125 gear ratio so for every one revolution of this uh, is 125 revolutions of this little gear and this big gear too now, so I'm going to use this as my example for today so I'm going to suppress these real quick just to show you I'm going to suppress that one real quick just to show you how to do this so let's see Give me a moment, I'm going to get the right one that I want to show you guys. So this is part of a big assembly, so I'll show all instances. So this is what I had here. I just wanted to 3D print this in order to see if it would work in real life or if it would just tear the gears apart due to like such a high RPM. But I haven't 3D printed it yet. But for now, I just wanted to hide that so that way... um. You can see the gears better, but let's see. Yeah, so you can tell these gears are moving, but these aren't. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on this gear and this gear right here, right? So what you do is on the top of your toolbar, there's a thing called gear relation. You click on that, and then it gives you this uh, dialog box right here. So it's a gear, and then you got to choose the mates. So since these are spinning around, these are revolute mates. So you would think that it would be what the gear is attached to. So the mate from the gear to the shaft. No, it's what the shaft rotates on, which is the base that I showed you previously. So now I just got to find which revolute that is. So right here, here's one. Click on that, right? And then I click on this one right here. So find that other revolute. Which is this one. Now that I have both, now I can do one to five. So, oh, actually, this this can be confusing. You got to see if you do five or point two, which would be basically one to five. So, if you do five, we're gonna test this out. See if this works. For every one revolution of this, this spins five revolutions. Right there, you go. You see, it's fun. Um, for every one revolution of this, it spun five revolutions of that. If you had made it 0.2, it would have been inverted. And then for every five revolutions of this, it would have spun one revolution of that. You can tell that other one is moving slowly. So I wanted to keep it at five. And then that way, it'll move this, this gear right here will move five times every time this one moves once. So basically... In order to, if you move this backwards, in order to um, move this one, one revolution, you would have to move this 125 times. 125 revolutions in order to get to that, uh, that to get one revolution. So then for one revolution of this, it's 125, 125 revolutions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell to keep up with all my latest uploads. I'm still trying to post daily until most likely uh, next week is when I'm going to stop posting daily since that's when my vacation ends. But thank you guys all for your support. Uh, once again, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.